question is, is your mind playing tricks on you? And that's going to be the topic of our podcast today. I'm trainer Mikey Spice and I'm here with Lenita, Hi. who's a psychologist. <laughs> and I've got some questions to ask her regarding some of my issues to do with some of my clients and some of the people I've been around with. And it'd be great to hear from her view on why people do this. Are you sure yeah. about your clients or about you? Well, both parts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that straight first. That's fine. I'm really, really excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And we, you know, we're happy that you're here. Thank you. Right. The biggest thing what I have, okay? Yeah. Now, I want to talk to you about this is mm-hmm. uh, when I ask clients, okay, or I meet people and I ask them to do certain things, yeah. okay? Like, for instance, like, you know, uh, I had a training, a training client and I said, right, do a presser. Yep. And first of all, they say, I can't do it. Okay. Why do people do that? Rather than me myself, we know you know I see when I try something, yeah, I'll yeah. try it and then I'll find out can I do it or can't I do it. So I always say the mind is really, really simple. Whatever you say to the mind, the mind will believe. So if you say, like for example, today's gonna be a crap day, that's it, you're tunnel visioned and for the rest of the day you're gonna keep giving yourself evidence of why the day is gonna be crap. So you'll miss out on all the other things. Now when you tell someone to do a push-up and they're already like, no, 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 I can't do it. That's because they're trying to protect themselves. In in the, 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 the best way possible, they're trying to protect themselves because they know by doing a push-up, their body is coming out of their comfort zone and it's gonna feel horrible doing a push-up. It's gonna hurt. And ultimately, our body is there to try and protect us. It's, our mind is there to try and protect us. All the time, we're protective, like it's survival of the fittest, isn't it? So your mind is like, uh-uh, that, that's dangerous. We don't wanna do that, we don't wanna do that. So straight away, it's like, I can't do it. But it's to protect us, isn't it? Yeah. So it's well, stepping out of that. Okay, you can imagine like with, with training, if you're really going to develop somebody, you've always got to go past these barriers mm. of, you know, of growth. Yeah. So what would you, what would you, you know, I have my strategies of what I do to try and get people to do it, regardless yeah. if they don't want to do it. But what, what things would you say is a good, I suppose you must come across it in, you know, your, your work of life? Definitely, but with my work, it's more so people will come in and they know that they're going to be working on the mind. But in your work, people don't realise they're actually going to be working and training on their mind. So they come in thinking that they're going to be sculpting their body. But actually, you know that it's all about the mind and what's going on. So you will see people and you'll see actually that one's orange, that one's blue, that one's green. And you know that you need to be different with the green one. Maybe you need to be a little bit more like abrupt with the green one. You know with the purple one, you need to be like direct with them. Like, get on with it. Let's do this. With the other one, you might need to be a little bit more sensitive because you know that they may have other things going on for them at home or other things going on for them where the gym is like their outlet or the gym you can't push them too much because they're being pushed in life enough so you're trying to work out what is going on for each of these individuals so in some ways your your own body well, I don't know what you'd call it yeah your body yeah, sharp isn't body it sharp. You're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're focusing on the mindset but you're using the body to get to the mindset which yeah. is very interesting yeah so so you can imagine you know it's great seeing like when some people you know reach a higher level that yeah, they definitely. think I have a saying What's that? Saying is, you don't know what you're capable of until I show you. Oh, is that what you say? Yeah, I think I've heard that in my <laughs> training session with you. <laughs> no, and that is true, isn't it? You won't see, you'll be like straight away, oh, I can't do 10 sit-ups. There's no way I can do 10 sit-ups or 10 pull-ups. And then once steady by steady, step by steps, just going one step at a time, you'll get there. But you can't think of the end goal. You can't think, okay, I need to do 10 push-ups by tomorrow. It's not going to work. You have to slowly, slowly take one step at a time. And what you're doing is you're expanding the mind. So you're showing yourself, look, I can do it one. And then it's like the next time you come in, I can do two. But it's not just mind strength, it's body strength as well. And it's the mind and body working together. And that's what needs to be done with the work that you're doing. And it sounds like that's what you, you do with your clients. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you the truth, I, I really enjoy training you. Yes. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Well, yeah. I, it's a love-hate relationship, yeah, I'm just like... A, yeah, you know, I, I, I like to see that, you know, she puts all effort. But one thing I realise with you, and I've been studying you, because I'm... Oh, I'm, really? I'm, yeah, I've you been know, an- you've been so analysing me. I've been analysing you, I've been <laughs> analysing you. And I've noticed that you, you you would talk to yourself, and you would you would actually come out and you go, right, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah? And, and I've really tried to push you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah, you feel it. You feel it the next day, and you're just like, you know what? I had a good workout. But when you're in that mindset, it's very easy to give up. 
It's very, very easy, but also everyone's different. So I know for me, results is very, very important. For someone else, um, it might be that they've just come to the gym and they've done their their class and that's enough for them. So everyone's driven by different things. So it's to understand as well what drives them. So I know for me, when I've got my results, I'm happy, I'm excited and I'm enthusiastic to go ahead and keep continuing. And I know that by going to the gym as well, I'm strengthening my mind. So I'm always growing and I'm always developing and I'm learning new things about myself. So I've learned so much about what um, my body is capable of and also just pushing past my own um, beliefs that I have. So, so it's very you know, powerful. So just, you know, give me that moment. Yeah. Give me that moment when yeah. I give you something very difficult to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thinking of it. Yeah. yeah. So think about when we did that, that, what is it? That, uh, pull up. Yeah. It's that pull up that the, I really want to do. Yeah. Right, the pull up. Yeah. Okay. And you got further up this yeah, week. Yeah. 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 And I did okay. three. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> but how did you, how did you go about psyching yourself up? I was like, I want to do it. It's, it's my, I'm, I'm, I'm driven to do so it. When you took that step back and you, you looked into your mind what was you going what was going for your brain it was strength it was like i'm gonna do this and this is where i think as soon as i told you the mind is very simple as soon as i said if i say to myself i can't do this i don't want to do this it's it's hard work straight away i've already cut it off so i'm, I'm not going to put in my full effort because I'm t i've already told myself i can't do this but because i'm like no i'm going to do this and often you've seen it i'm having fights with my body because i'm like no my mind's like no you can do this and my body's like yeah, I, it's, it's up for you. Yeah, I gotta tell you sometimes. You know, I'm sorry. I know your mind's very powerful, but your body's saying stop. And stop, it's so it's frustrating. But you learn so much about it. You learn so much about your body and about yourself. And this is why I say, when you're doing the work that you're doing, you're you're in some ways you're offering therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do enjoy seeing people. You know, uh, come in. I suppose you guys, the rest of you trainers out there, you probably feel the same way. Yeah. When you see somebody come in and they're not that confident and they don't really know about their self and you see them grow. Okay. It's the belief you have in them. You see their beauty, you see their light, you see what they're capable of doing, but they don't know that because of all the limitations that have been put in their lives. And it might have just been like from childhood, from things that have happened in the past where someone said, no, you can't do this, or you're not capable of this, or failing in an exam, or not doing well at school. All of these things have now set them up thinking, I can't do this. So even in the gym, they're replaying the same message to themselves, like, I can't do this. But you're the one who's like, I know that they can do it, I can believe it. Like you told me about the story of, um, was it the the boxer and you were like he came he was um, fostered was he fostered yeah. and he came and you believed in him you gave him a space to train and you developed him and that you don't know how that's going to push him in, in to be successful and happy in his life because you've given him that you just nurtured him in the way that he needed to be nurtured yeah yeah so it's really deep yeah. really powerful stuff <laughs> Look, you've just gone really quiet now. You're just like in thinking mode, like, yeah, wow, I shut up. Mine is spice. <laughs> no, it's, it feels nice, like I say, when you see somebody achieve something and, yeah. you know, and I suppose the rest of the trainers out there and yourself, you know, when you see that you probably work with, you know, people in relationships or wherever it, yeah. you know, wherever yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. And you see them come out the other end, you know, yeah. that's the... But this is it. It's the relationship that you have with yourself. Everything is everything comes back down to that relationship that you have with yourself. So you're um, coming to the gym, it's the relationship you have with yourself. You could just go there and be like, you know, I've had a really long day, really can't be bothered with this, it's cold outside, I don't want to go there and or I'm going to be in pain tomorrow, so I'm not going to do it. So you've already shut yourself off. So it, it does come back to the self-talk that you're having in your head. It all comes back to the self, um, yeah, the way that you, you speak to yourself. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? This is a, so, you, you know, if you were going to give anybody a tip, yep. okay, what would the tip be? Listen to what's going on in your head. Listen to the, listen to the different thought processes that you have and really challenge them and keep a journal, keep a journal and log them if you, if you can, but if not, just be conscious of them. That's the, the, the main piece of advice I'd give. When people are going down the wrong road. And, and acknowledge yeah. it, acknowledge, okay. Why is it that I can't do this? If you're reflecting on something and understanding where this is coming from, it will help you to understand because the first step of change is awareness. You need to become aware of something, but you need to become aware of yourself first in any situation that you want Would to Would you change. say be aware and accept that you're in this situation, accept the moment? That you're See, I think acceptance would come later on in the process, but the first thing is awareness. And then, then you go, you, you will eventually get to the place of acceptance because if you keep saying to yourself, I want it to, um, I wish I was the way, I wish I had the body that I had when I was like 21. If you keep saying that to yourself, your mind is like, I'm not happy with what I'm, where I am right now. 
So you're not accepting where you are right now. Instead, you keep going back and your mind doesn't know the difference between the present and it doesn't know the difference between the past or the future. So you've already emotionally connected yourself now to your 21 year old and you're just like, oh man, that 21 year old was so happy. That's It's like when people want to lose weight. What happens is they, they think that, oh, I'm going to be happier when I lose weight. They get to a point when they lose weight and they're not happy. But that doesn't mean that it's because of their, their body and the way that they, it's, it's all comes from that relationship with self. And the mind is really powerful in what it believes it, where, where you should be. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I, I, I have two stories there. Yeah, I have seen people in the sense of got to a certain place. And, you know, when they got there, they, they're still not happy. Yeah, yeah, and and that's it. You can keep saying to yourself, I'm going to be happy when I get there. I'm going to be happy when I get this. I'm going to be happy when this happens. But actually, it's being happy in the moment. But you're not going to be happy all the time. And I think everyone's on this big hype at the minute of gratitudes and, um, yeah, being happy. But you can't be happy all the time. You, there's a balance and there's a, there's a, like a, what's the word? It's like just in the middle. That's what, there's yeah. another word for it, but it's not coming to me. So yeah, it's in the middle and you'll get your extremes of being happy, but you'll also get your lows of being sad and that's okay. But it's acknowledging these em emotions that you're feeling because these emotions do create the reality that you live in. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, uh, like I say, to you guys out there, the rest of the trainers, uh, you got some tips from there from a mindset coach, okay? And somebody knows a lot about the mind and you should apply that as well to your clients and take on board uh, when they say I can't do that the strategies behind it to get them to do what they should be doing Mikey out Aaliyah out